is our Universal Diagnostic Center. Currently the power is off and we have no indication of anything on. Now what you want to do is turn your power on so you can check your diagnostics and as it's like as it's firing up you want to check see if it's calling for heat. We've got flow and if your blowers one and two are turning on. Once you figure out your sequence okay and the lights are off and on, the next thing you want to check is your safety faults board. See if there's any faults in sequence. Now what you want to do is uh, check your, your uh, fault board and see if there was any fault in history. Now you check that is by holding switch number one for five seconds. And what you want to do is go to switch two to scroll for your fault. Determine if there's no fault history. Okay, holding both south uh, switch one and switch two. Okay, for five seconds, it will clear the fault history. And with doing this, it is not recoverable after it's been cleared. What you want to do is take your panels off on both sides. What you're looking for is your block vent pressure switch. If for some ind indication that this may be at fault, it may go back to the board and tell you that right here, vent pressure. Next thing you want to check is your air pressure switch on your blowers on stage one and over on stage two. This is your low gas pressure switch. If anything happens to go wrong with this, again, it'll refer back to your board where it says uh, low gas OPT. In the event of a blower air fault, which indicates on the board, what you want to do is tap into these two lines on your air switch on both sides. And what you're checking for is for 1.4 static pressure. In the event your flow status indicator is not lit, what you want to do is check the operation of your pump. From here, you want to check your flow switch located at the back of the body. Now what you want to do is check your hot surface igniter, but you don't want to take the cover off because you need it to be a sealed chamber. Therefore you go back to your, to your main box, locate where it is, which is S1, follow it down, put your meter on, now you can test. And what you're looking for is 3.1. Exercise caution so that when you take your door off, you don't let it slide for the reason that you don't want to wreck the seal. Take it, set it off to the side, and what you want to check is your hot surface igniter, which is located usually to the right, and then your flame sensor is located on the left side. 